Welcome to Biomedical Intercession. My name is Ewell Phillips, and in this segment, I'm gonna be praying against the coronavirus and praying on behalf of our healthcare professionals. I'm gonna be specifically reading a prayer from my book entitled, The Coronavirus Prayer Guide, Redemptive Warfare Against Respiratory Illnesses. The chapter I'm gonna be reading from is chapter 23, entitled, Awake, Sleeper, and Rise. This particular prayer begins with a scripture coming from Ephesians 5, 13 through 17, the NIV. And it reads, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then, excuse me, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Again, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 13 through 17, NIV. Now let's step back. Let's step out of the place that we're in right now. And let's step into the throne room. And imagine seeing the light of Jesus' face far off in the distance. And as you accept his invitation to come to be seated with him at the right hand of the Father, you pass through the 24 elders. You pass through the four living creatures. You hear the song of heaven. You hear the worship of heaven. You hear the atmosphere of heaven. And Jesus says to you, he says to you, I'm ready to light your words. I'm ready to give light to your intercession so that people can be changed and healed and equipped for what's happening in this crisis. Let us pray. Let's take our seat of intercession. Jesus, do not hide your light from the healthcare professionals. Holy Spirit, open their eyes so that they may experience this light. We call every healthcare professional out of darkness and into the supernatural knowledge and advice rooted in the spirit of wisdom and revelation. If any healthcare worker has been reckless in their lifestyle and life choices, may they become sober in the season of crises that they are observing. With each and every medical decision made, Grant them the grace to make the most of every opportunity presented to them in preserving the life of their patients. Let them clearly see that they cannot afford to make any unwise choices when evil is prevalent around them. Therefore, Holy Spirit, make known to them the knowledge of God's will for them and for their positions and for their patients so that your glory will be revealed. Quicken their spirits in such a way that they will rise up and wake up from their sorrowful slumber. Again, Lord, may they not be overcome by burden and sorrow to the point of abandoning their service not only to you, but also to humanity. We thank you, Lord. We praise you for the wisdom that you give them. And we know you're faithful to give it to them because you desire to see them operate as members of your household, as members of your kingdom. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness.